What's going on Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy and today I'm bringing you our next Editor X training series video in which I will be discussing masters, how to manage masters, add new masters here in Editor X. If you're brand new here to the channel, thank you so much for watching. If you're not brand new and you haven't yet, make sure to click that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any content, especially this Editor X training content and you'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. A pretty great place to be when learning a brand new editor. Without further ado, let's jump into managing, adding, and learning masters here in Editor X. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're here in Editor X, and now we are going to discuss masters. First and foremost, it's important to note you'll be able to manage masters throughout your site and on each page by going up here to this little triangular looking icon that says masters, you'll click on it. At the moment, you have a couple default masters. That's your header and footer. First and foremost, just so you know what masters are, I'm going to read the description. Masters are sections of content that can show on multiple changes or multiple pages. Changes you make to one apply everywhere in its use on the site. Now that last part, you do have some maneuverability and I'm going to have future videos on masters as well. But ultimately what the master is, is it's a section on your site or an element that you make as a master and you can just reuse it on different pages on your site. So what you would do is first and foremost, we'll keep that panel open. Let's just say we're scrolling down a page here on uh, this landing page and we like this particular section and we want to use this particular section on another page, maybe a page highlighting features. What we would do is we would make sure we click the section, not, not one element, but the entire section, and then we're gonna right click it. And then we will then press set as master. So we'll set as master, and then you'll then see this section has been added as a master section in our site masters. Then let's just say we come up here, we manage pages. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add a new page. I'll just name it features. We can click that, we add our features page. And then if we go back up here to masters, we can press show on page. And then all of a sudden, that same exact design is added here as a master on this page. Now here's the kicker. If we do change it, it's like expert craftsmanship, totally, I'm just messing around, guys, don't actually put that, um, you'll notice something. If we click that, this is on our um, features page. Now, if we go back to our home page, you'll notice if we scroll down, it's changed. So now that changed and altered the master across each different page so you need to understand that going into it that if you do add a master you can seamlessly take it across multiple pages but whatever you change in that master is going to change on each of those pages as well so if we went back to features you'll see that it's changed here right it's changed now if we go to masters you'll see it's shown on here and you can edit right so you can actually edit your master and that's where you can click in here and then you can come in here and you've got different action bar editing techniques. You can come in, change it, but whatever you change on here is changed across each different master you have. And you can do this with as many sections as you want and as many different elements as you want. And you can create a whole bunch of masters because if you've got one portion of your site that you know is going to repeat often that you want that exact same section maybe it's like a coupon section on an e-commerce site where it's got like a nice banner explaining the coupon 30 percent off sign up email whatever that is uh to get 10 percent off 
you know, that's just an example and you're going to have that on multiple pages, just make it a master so that way it's seamless and you just show on page done and it shows on page as your master element. And it's really simple as you can see. It's easy to add as a master. It's easy to edit, although editing it does change it on your other pages. So just keep that in mind. Um, but it's also easy to manage too from this master's panel right here. And then let's just say, you know what? You're like, eh, wrong. I decided I don't want this as a master. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it. But first, let me show you. You can press show on and then you can choose what pages your master is shown on. So that's another way you can do it if you didn't want to just go to a new page and press show on page. You can actually come to your section and click those three buttons and then choose what page is just shown on. Maybe you don't want it shown on all pages. Maybe you just want it on the home page, not our new features page. Or maybe you do want it on all pages and you can choose each one it's shown on. However, like I said, if you decide it's not right, you don't want it, um, what you can do is you can delete it. However, there is a workaround for that whole changing a master thing. If you duplicate a master, I'll show you. We can actually now show this one on the page and you'll see that it's shown twice. However, if we make sure we go back here and we show our original one and we don't show the original, now we can actually change our duplicated one and get rid of the totally and watch what will happen. So we got rid of the totally on that features page. However, if we go back to our home page, you'll notice the totally one is still there. And that's because we duplicated the master. So that's the workaround to changing your master a little bit for each particular page. So if you want to keep the entire same design, but you maybe want to change a few things in the copywriting or uh, the picture or whatever that may be, the workaround is to come in here, duplicate that master, but show your updated one, your edited one on the page corresponding that you want it shown on. And now you've got two versions of your master. You've got the totally one and the non-totally one, but one is shown on one page, one is shown on the other, but it's the exact same design, same formatting, same everything. So you didn't have to go back and redesign. You just reused it, repurposed it. So that's the way to work around it. And then, like I said, if you decide, nope, that's not what you want. You just want to delete it as a master as a whole, delete done and then it will disappear note though if you delete it as a master the content will disappear from the site so whatever was in that master will be gone as you can see that just deleted it from the site now i can press undo and i can get it back but if you delete that master it will delete it from the entire site so that's an important thing to note as well not just one page but it'll delete it totally from the site on all pages. So that's how to work with masters here in Editor X. I hope this video was helpful. I can tell you masters are extremely helpful and it's one of the new features that the classic editor does not have that will improve, enhance, and make you more efficient ultimately as well as productive when designing and developing here in Wix. If it did help you out, make sure you drop a like down below, comment, let me know what you thought of this video, how you're enjoying this Editor X training series. And like I said, uh, you know, how often you'd like to see the Editor X training series released on a weekly basis. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so let me know. And then lastly, if you're brand new here, you don't want to miss any of this Editor X training content, or even if you're not brand new, make sure to click that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss any content here on the channel, and you'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. Pretty great place to be when you're learning a brand new editor. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will catch you in our next one.